That's it! Get out of my house! No, go! Hit it. Like, actually it's hit dead. it. It's not dead. No, like, no. What? Oh my god! It gave birth! Dude, no! Oh my god, it gave birth! Oh my god! It gave birth! Ah! It gave birth! It gave birth! Oh my god! Wait, I didn't get- I got that on video! Ah! Wait, we have to go back! What's up YouTube, WolfRS here, and today I'll be talking about the beginner guide to Legacy Peace Online. Uh, the game updated yesterday and there's some things that were quite new to the game. Well, maybe or maybe not new to the game, so we shall see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick tutorial on how to play the game itself. Um, if you guys think I missed anything, just let me know down in the comments. I will leave my VIP link in the description because I know the public server has been laggy. And quite glitchy lately so if you guys need a vip server feel free to join the link down in the description and without further ado um let's get right into the video So before we get started, um, I'm going to leave the link um, down below for the Trello just in case if you guys need some information about the game. As usual, most of the One Piece game and pretty much games in Roblox have a Trello that pretty much tells more information about the game itself. Shout out to the Trello developers and the developers themselves for making a Trello which pretty much shows the guide, the fruit itself, and pretty much everything that you need to know about the game to the best of their ability and to the best of everyone abilities so of course they might be missing some stuff they might have everything so just check it out for yourself the link will be down in the description and I think that should be it for the trailer itself so yeah let's get right into the video all right so <clears throat> legacy piece online a pretty good game of course I'm in my VIP server so as you can see it's less laggy I mean it is a bit but at least it's way better than the public server definitely so once you start out in the game, of course you might be wondering, um, how do I get fruit? How do I get this? How do I get that? All right, let's just calm down and let's just go straight to first thing is how to level up. Um, for people who are new, of course, um, there's a map pretty much here that shows pretty much everything you need to know about leveling up. Um, the best thing about this game, which I really love, is the navigation icon over here, which shows every island in the game for people who. Um, are pretty lost about um, looking at where each things are in the um, game itself of course we're in starter island so that's zero level zero sailor island is 45 um, autumn island 250 barati samurai fish and you just keep increasing like that not only does it tell you what level is required but it also shows you where the island is which is what I really love about the game so since after Starter Island, you're going to go to Sailor Island, instead of looking at the map and trying to figure out why it's not South, East, West, it pretty much just shows you where the island is. So for that, this game gets an S tier, just for that. Um, whoops, I just fell on there. Alright, so of course, navigation, North, South, East, West, we have the, you know, North, South, East, West. This, pretty much, that's pretty much a map right there. So. If you guys need more information about this, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, click navigation and you just, you know. Um, next one is ally. So if you're playing with a friend and you want to level up with a friend, of course, you can add them. Boom. Invite them. Username. That whole stuff. Inventory. Um, there's weapons inventory. Of course, I'll buy center. Of course, I'm still going to grind to get more weapons. Accessories, which I don't believe they boost, but they give more of a look to your um, avatar in my case I have the um, shanks um, cape so that's pretty fine and that's actually pretty nice match my avatar um, we have the regular um, fighting style black leg regular hockey I love the hockey combo actually combat is pretty good and the important thing I love about the game is um, it gives six um, of course I have five I donated fruits so um they give a free six um devil fruit slot so if you're trying to like live a game and you find the devil fruit you want boom just keep it there free six 
throat storage that is what i haven't seen in most games most games are more like a game pass you have to buy so for this again s tier the game is really outstanding for that first of all is navigation now they give free inventory space which is six limited amount six fruit that is really really good so developers again thank you very much for that um of course there's a shop if you guys have robux and you want to buy spend again this is a pretty cheap for a game pass these are cheap well not super cheap of course but they are cheaper compared to like gp or blocks or any other game for it just to spend is 175 robux so just that itself before it was 600 or 700 i believe but now they reduced it to this it's it's just wow and of course times just 30 minutes 99 which might be kind of expensive that one here might be okay that one might be the only one that is expensive for 30 minutes so of course but regardless i mean for everything that i've done so far i mean come on 99 give give the developers some support you know what i'm saying so um levels of course max level for each stat is going to be 100 i'm um, 7000 750 for each i believe i mean that's what i put there that was in case the update may probably change to 800 but for now um it's 750 the time when i'm recording this so you can put it into um four places call which is your devil fruit defense your hp hockey which is pretty much hockey level up um i can just do that um strength of course that's your fighting style weapon is pretty much weapon for the hockey i know most games it's more like once you get the hockey um you have to like train it to involve it this one just putting your stats in hockey and boom just instantly just get hockey just so that's one again I don't know how the developers are thinking about this they're making this game too easy but also really fun so for that shout out to the developers again truly appreciate you guys for that of course there's race which i haven't really is there a river of race no i don't think so of course the game is still in development so of course um things are going to be of course it's a new game kind of so that bring much new stuff phoenix is coming out and some other new stuff so this game is really what I'm going to be looking forward to and I'm going to do my best to make some recordings on this game itself so of course call I have a dragon fruit at the moment faction which is I'm a pirate my marine race I'm a human bounty 100 even though I have 19,200 so yeah um of course settings outline if you want to turn it on you see all the islands outline you see the black outline of the island so pretty much that you can shut that off just to make it fluid um camera shake i really love that they added this because of in my case i hate hate camera shake so i always put that to off and the reason why i'm going to do this is because of i used to afk i'm going to show you guys how to afk um grind um for cash so i'll show that on like later that'll be the last one i'll show you guys in my video and um codes of course join the discord i'm gonna leave the discord in the description also you guys can join it and you guys will be able to get the codes for um uh, xp and so on so that is pretty much the menu of that we have gone over the leveling we have gone over the stats we have gone over all of that so how do you get double fruits of course you need um 100k you talk to this guy pretty much he's the one that gives the devil fruits you talk to him it's gonna cost you i can give you a random call which is a devil fruit but your code's gonna cost you of course if you're using gold is a one percent which makes sense because gold is pretty much what is easy to, not easy to get but it's what you're pretty much it's pretty much common to get let me say gems of course gems is what is pretty much hard to get because you have to farm bosses for that stuff and it depends on your level so yeah so um what i used to do for um gold is i used to save up to like at least four million before unlocking because of um it just i just feel like it gives a better chance i mean i got dragon three times now and i donated one dragon to someone now so just saying it might be better to get more coins than to get 100k and just opening it except if you feel lucky of course so gems is from bosses um bosses they have to be around your level or higher than your level 
any boss lower than your level is not gonna give you gems just to let you know so if you're in level okay in my case i'm level um once i'm level 1500 if i'm from the level 400 boss it's not gonna give me gems because of i'm way way above his level so he won't give me gems so yeah of course so this is where you're gonna buy your fruits this is where you reset your car i believe with gems i rather rather use gems on fruits than this to be honest but hey that depends on you of course 10k if you don't use gems 10,000 to remove your car change your devil fruit pretty much um this is the quest giver of course bandits he's going to show you where each of it is so if i click on you hey you look strong get rid of some of these bandits sure it's going to show you where the bandits are they are going to be grinding which are these guys over here so pretty much um standard stuff easy stuff um one sword style if you want to buy a sword in case you don't have a devil person to start another game of course um this guy that is always dancing this is where you set your spawn very good um nami over here you guys probably know her she's a navigator so you look like you like to spawn your ship yep one thing i love about this is um if you buy a ship like this costs ten thousand. if you buy it once you don't have to buy it again so for example um i already bought it already and i have forty seven thousand. i spawn it boom i see seven thousand. it's only a game so you have to buy of course you can spawn any other boat that you have so yeah okay so we've gone over the quest we've gone over how to get fruit for the time being um how do you get gepo okay gepo is a bit weird in this game because it's not like you just um let me say rapidly um gepo so there's like a um certain time limit you can get and there's a certain limit like a cooldown to get him so you talk to this guy in starter island over here i think that's a guy or a girl one of them but um you talk to he or her and this is how you get your air jump i mean do i bite again no you only bite one time so yeah okay um there are, yeah this was the update i did made um now you can find chests maybe it was in the game before me but i just didn't notice but now you can um find random chests that gives random um amount of coins i think the most was 50,000 or 26,000 no 26 i think it was 26,000 before i don't i don't remember but it gives random amount of um coins i don't recall it giving gems but it might give gems also so yeah okay next thing i want to go over is some hidden um islands um some hidden places in the um first island so there is a fighting style i'm not sure if it's this fighting style that i currently have uh, it's, i'm not sure i just randomly found this in my inventory and i didn't even know about it but one place i could think of of course is around here I'm not sure if it is the one that gives it and this is what I was talking about the gepo is a bit weird so right in this cave um there is this NPC over here I'm not sure if he is the one but I think you have to have max hacky you want to learn my secret fighting style obtain your hacky isn't anywhere enough he said this last time also but um I don't know and I saw this retext text like click T but um I, I don't know but I got this randomly, so Conqueror Spirit, I have no idea how this this just appeared in my inventory, so yeah. Uh alright. So I've gone over pretty much the stuff, how to level up, where to level up, and um Yeah. So tips and tricks, just in case for some of you guys to know. Um even though personally for me even though okay for example i'm in starter island i get to level 45 even though i could go to the next island for level 45 i would still recommend staying on the island for example you're in starter island you go to the boss let me just actually let me see if i could go to the boss i can show you guys where the boss is actually so if you're passing over here of course where the hidden um 
area is you walk over here you do some little parkour of course if you have if you bought the air jump this will not be an issue but in my case it could be and yep in my case it could be an issue all right so yeah uh give me a second guys because this is gonna take some time all right i think the gepo is like 10 or 9 gepos you can do so yeah so what i'm saying is um pretty much just try to max out as much as you can so of course even though the next island is 45 doesn't mean you have to go to the next island for 45 you could continue grinding this guy till what's the next one so this one is 100 you could probably just grind this guy onto like level 100 to be honest this first boss you can just level him. you can just keep on grinding him until you get to like maybe 100 if you want to want to go like that fast so what i'm just saying is pretty much um in my case how i leveled up faster is pretty much um one scenario was me grinding um bosses on the islands different islands have different bosses well barati is pretty much one of the best ones anyways so grinding bosses um to level up is pretty much going to be your best um option to be able to um level up a bit faster compared to doing regular um bandits or npcs just in case all right so we've gone over the leveling up now the main thing which is the fruit how do i get enough cash to get um fruit for this part i'm gonna um see if i can find a clip for you guys to show you guys how i personally fk grind to um get enough cash it takes a while and depends on the fruit you do have dragon and dark fruit is pretty much the two best fruit for um afk grinding i won't recommend it as much and i'm probably gonna get removed from this owners i'm sorry if i'm not allowed to afk grind i am truly apologize but i'm not using any exploits i'm not using any of that i'm just using tiny tax okay guys do not exploit the game the game is fresh and it's pretty new so disclaimer do, do not exploit do not hack because you're just gonna ruin the game and the game would not be fun to be honest so i'm just gonna show you guys you could probably even auto click to be honest in this case so in my case i'm just using tiny tax which isn't you know it's not an exploit it's just tiny tax it just repeats what you just do so owner if this is not allowed again i'm truly apologize and i hope i don't get banned for this but if it's not allowed okay that'll be fine i'll remove it from my video but besides that um let's get right into it all right guys so this video might be a bit laggy because of i'm just going to show you guys how to um afk grind in some cases so bear with me so of course um tiny tax over here you guys probably know how to download tiny tax so i mean pretty much tiny tax itself of course we're in Barati. the reason why i'm choosing Barati is because Barati is the one island that has um the boss right next to um uh, its quest giver you could probably do it with any other ones but this is probably the best ones to be honest this is the best one i'll just say that this is the best one so there's a quest giver over here in my case i have dragon so you could probably follow this step as accurate as you can with dark fruit um, in my case, I use um, Z and X. For dark fruit, you use um, Z, which is the orb, which is pretty much the projectile ball, and you use C, which is the vertex. I think it was C that is vertex, yes. So, pretty much the manhole for um, what's it called? For dark fruit. I don't know about any other fruit, but dark and dragon are the two best fruit for AFK. You could probably try it with any other fruit. I haven't tried it but that's this is what i've seen so far that's the best one so what you want to do is stay next to of course you have a view to this guy your main um issue that you're probably going to have is because you're going to keep on moving based on whatever skills you use make sure your um, character is right next to the quest giver itself so at least have some you know, some kind of um visual to be able to see this um quest make sure you have your fruit equipped not weapon or any other thing only this make sure you don't have any auto click ons or any of that stuff don't have any of those things on all you need is tiny tags 
of course there's tiny tax you click over here continue play record in my case I used to put my to f8 you could probably put yours to whatever you want it, it doesn't really matter so in my case I put my to f8 and minus that hopefully this doesn't end my stream <laughs> or my video recording because my hotkeys are sometimes weird so you have this on click on option you're not recording yet don't click on anything you're not recording camera shake on you want that to be off map outline on make sure everything is off you do not want um ground shaking so to test it out you go over here you click on by center or whatever weapon you're using so far your ground is not shaking you're good that's all you want that's all you care about so make sure you have your fruits equipped if you want to use shift lock do not have shift lock on when recording very important all right and if you guys want me to go over this again i can make an extra another video to go in depth with this so you know shift lock at least have the both visual of who you're trying to aim and your quest giver all right again camera is off boom that's all you need now what you're going to do is press whatever you're going to use to record in my case i'm using f8 f8 click e well press e not click e wait for the crest to go wait one second click yes aim use your move wait a couple seconds now use your next move now you wait for 25 seconds 1 mississippi 2 mississippi 3 mississippi 4 mississippi 5 mississippi 7 mississippi 6 mississippi 7 mississippi 8 mississippi 9 mississippi 10 mississippi 11 mississippi 12 mississippi 13 mississippi 14 mississippi 15 mississippi 16 mississippi 17 mississippi 18 mississippi 19 mississippi 20 mississippi press d just to move a little now press f8 cancel it now he should spawn by now boom just like that the reason why you press um d and not s or any other ones is because of whenever you use your move sometimes your character move a bit forward so you want to move just press you know you're just clicking on it you're not like pressing it to move you're just clicking s i mean d yeah d you're only clicking d so just to make sure everybody's in the right place shake is off everything's off make sure you have your skills equipped which is dark fruit or dragon fruit dragon fruit you're using z and x um dark fruit you're using z and c which is your vertex your vertex that's what you're using so make sure you have this visible whatever you're using to record for tiny tags you press a in my case i'm using f8 you press f8 you press e let the quest be given just like that wait one second click share aim him press z wait a couple seconds then you press your next move then you wait as you can see level is too high so i won't be able to get gems after you defeat the boss you wait 25 seconds as you can see my character is facing here between the 25 seconds just press d just like that as you can see the visual is a bit little it's little over here which is fine because the more you keep doing it the more it keeps doing that that's the only issue you're going to be having of course before he spawns make sure you press your f8 or whatever you're using to stop the recording but this is the only issue you're going to be having now if i press e again as you can see i can still take the quest so i'm perfectly fine i can afk with that now after you do well i don't really need this after you do all of that you click tiny tax click that now recording you might get a shut that off click on that play hotkey now i go back to f8 now i minus it now this should be able to play with my hands as you can see i'm going to keep clapping while the video is playing just for you guys to see that it's not me so i press f8 and i'm clapping see i'm clapping right now 
just like that I'm still clapping see of course my clapping might sound weird but don't worry about it <laughs> and just like that as you can see quest is done quest complete I get levels I get gems if you're in low level and just like that I'm gonna keep clapping until he does it again just to make sure that it's all good I'm still clapping this is not really a full afk kind of stuff sometimes you might have to okay just like that perfect perfect as you can see the quest is not going to be given so if i wait again as you can see it doesn't give me the quest you see that that's because of i'm a bit away and i cannot see this so again this is time where you're going to come on your laptop you look at it again you you know fix your settings you fix your way of position probably over here might be good you just test it out pretty much so it's not really a full afk but at least it works okay so just something for you guys to think about if you guys want to use sign attacks of course sign attack is not really an exploit it's just a recording of what you're doing in case you're busy you know doing homework you can't really afk fully you can't really grind on the game fully so just something to think about all right in my case um if you guys don't want to afk and do that whole stuff um what you're going to need is a vip server and the reason why i said vip server of uh, each time i join the vip server um the bosses in the game they respawn immediately so if you guys want to form bosses like whitebeard and kaino and you know all the pretty much marine bosses or shank himself for the griffin which is a sword you guys can just keep joining and leaving um vip server you join the vip server make sure you set your spawn at least if you're gonna grind the marine set it to marine forward if you want to farm um shanks set your spawn to in the ice island i think that's what it's called no snow island so snow island is where you want to set your spawn because rock island doesn't have a spawn so set your spawn in snow island to farm shanks set your spawn in marine island to farm marines because common sense um you fight them you defeat them instead of you waiting in the servers for them to spawn again just leave your vip server join again and you'll be able to farm um the bosses again so i hope this actually goes over what you guys need um i'm gonna just make this uh i'm gonna pinpoint where some things are so star island is pretty much where i went over i went over that like fully um hacky Actually, maybe I should just show you guys where Haki is. So, um, Haki is going to be in Desert Island. These two islands, Desert and Ornament, I said Ornament, Autumn Island is where you find, um, this one is Observation Haki, this one is Ornament Haki. So, to so, um, use Ornament Haki, you press B, which is that. And just do B. That does that. Observation is N. Okay, N is for some reason. Okay, there we go. N. To use um observation hockey. Uh I will just show you guys the location where they are where they are and that should probably end the video for the time being. So give me a second for that. Alright, so this is ornament um I keep on saying ornament autumn island, which is this island over here, level 225. I think that's the level you have to be to get the hockey. You don't need cash. Um, Haki doesn't require um, money. It requires level levels. Let me say. So I don't what I don't know what level you have to be in, but I would say just to be safe, probably 300. Maybe the least is 250, since that's the island requirement. So let me see if I could find where this lady is. Oh, if you guys also want to you can probably try the afk method over here also these are the two places that you could try out so low levels you can grind over here high levels you can farm in barati so let me just take that um observation hockey over here yep 375 so never mind that's even way higher 
So 375 is for um, observation hockey. You have to defeat 150 of these guys, those bandits, and I will show you guys where the um, ornament hockey, which is this hockey right here, is going to be at. All right, so we're in Desert Island, which is Desert Island, of course. So you're going to defeat some 100 of these guys over here. And I will show you guys where the quest giver of the um, ornament hockey, of course, this hockey. I'm going to show you guys where to um, get that. So you just keep walking over here. I don't know what Z does, Conqueror Infusion. Huh. Huh. Regardless, I got Conqueror. I think maybe this Conqueror Hockey or something. So I have no idea. Anyways, um, boom. There we go. Enhancement Woman. Yep. Look at her being all cute. Look at her. Can I dance also? I just, I typed, I just typed the wrong thing. And I can't dance. Wow. Um. Owner, developers, can I have up an email? Because I want to, you know, I want to dance. I want to dance with her also. Like, can, can I dance? I just want to dance with her. But yeah, she's gonna give you the um, ornament hockey. Again, um, you have to be 175. You defeat 100 of the desert bandits, and yeah, that's about it. That's how you get the hockey. Observation hockey, um, is really good, which is this one very good i would highly recommend you get it um for the ornament hockey which is pretty much this hockey over here it only affects your sword and your um fighting style it doesn't affect your fruit that i know of because i tried it out it doesn't affect your fruit um again this is the boss if you want to use the fk method on the boss i'll say again depends on you but the barati is probably one of the best ways that's how i leveled up quicker and that's how i used to farm my cash so yeah um, I think that should be it so far. If you guys think I'm missing anything else, um, let me know down in the comments. I drop, uh, I'm gonna drop some timestamp down in the um, comments and the description if you guys just want to skip to a certain part of the video. Um, again, fruit they spawn 30 minutes. Fruits always spawn just in case. Starter Island, um, Sailor Island. I would say they do spawn in Sailor Island. They do spawn in Desert Island. I haven't seen anyone spawn in um, Autumn. None of them spawn in Barati. Samurai Island, none that I know of. It's Fishman, yes, most of the time it's Fishman. Um, Marine, no. Snow Island, maybe. So Snow Island, Fish Island, and this four right here. They spawn every 30 minutes. So, I mean, if you guys want to hop in my VIP server when I'm online. Um, then I could probably tell you guys that the fruit spawns since I have the fruit notifier. One thing I didn't notice about the fruit notifier is it doesn't make a sound when the fruit spawn. So what I would recommend is um, if you guys want to hop on a VIP server, I recommend you hop in the VIP server during the time you can calculate. For example, I get in a VIP server each like o'clock, like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, so that when it gets to 1.30, I know that the fruit spawn. It's just something for me to keep in mind of because if I join a server like 2.25, that is a bit confusing. That is just, I'm not trying to do the whole math in my head. So anything easy, if I hop in the VIP server 1.30 by 2, 2 o'clock, if fruit should have spawned, those kind of stuff. Just something to keep your mind um, at peace and you know that, okay, fruit spawn around this time. Let me check the notifier where the fruit spawn and that's about it. But besides that, um, I think that should be it so far. If you guys need me, again, if you guys want me to make a video on something else, just let me know down in the chat. And I hope this helped you guys out. Surely sorry that the video was long, but again, I'll leave. I'll try my best to leave a time st a timestamp so that you guys can just skip to wherever you guys think is needed for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm not sure about donations. I'm gonna keep grinding out some um, fruit. And I'll see what I could donate to you guys. If I want to, if I'm gonna donate a dragon fruit, um, <clears throat> yeah, dragon is pretty hard. So let's try to get to that. Um, let's say 50 likes, huh? 50 likes. 
let's get to 50 likes and i'm going to do um dragon fruit donation of course join my discord i'm going to be doing some fruit donation not only in this game but jpo maybe pet sim and some other games i do some donations in my discord server and i also put some updates about myself so make sure you guys check that out and i hope this helped you guys out thank you guys very much for the support and god bless you guys and take care of each other all right peace